Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. So we've had a lot of people asking, Phil, how do you use your phone? What phone are you using? What do you have on it? So here's my turn to walk you through it. So I've been using the HTC One X for a number of weeks now, and if you haven't noticed yet, I am rather enamored with this device. Uh, for me, the biggest feature, I think, is the display. It's just gorgeous. There, really nothing beats it. Uh, you know, the Galaxy Nexus at 720p is also pretty good. Uh, uh, no, I'll step it up. I'll say it's really good, but the Super LCD 2 and just the way it's uh, put together here, I mean, there's almost no air between the glass and the display itself. It almost feels like it's floating on top. So for me, that's why I'm I'm really using this phone, and, and the other reason, of course, is the camera. So you've, you've read the reviews. But here's what I have in my home screens. Now, it's funny, an ice cream sandwich, and this was true for me on the uh, Galaxy Nexus as well, I really only use a couple home screens now. So this is how I have the One X set up. I've actually traded in the huge uh, 4x2 HTC clock for a smaller one, and this is an option in the widgets. And so I still have the clock, I still have the weather. Now, having two clocks is still pretty redundant, and eventually somebody's going to do something about that, but they haven't yet. So I've got weather, I've got clock, I've got a calendar here. Everybody always asks about this calendar. This is pure calendar widget. Um, it, you know, totally customizable. So many options in it, and I can suck in any of the dozens of calendars I have set up. And it's scrollable as well, which is nice. So I've just got all sorts of things, and I can just see them as a glance, which is really nice. Now, folders and docs. So this is where things get a little different in HTC Sense. So I, I still have Sense on here. I haven't put a, a third-party launcher on top of it or anything. So here's how I have it set up. I've got Chrome Beta just off by itself. I've got a folder for social. I've got a folder for apps. And I actually don't have all the apps I would normally use because I've been bouncing around phones. And I have a travel folder because I'm on the road a lot. And then down in my dock, I've got Gmail, the camera, app drawer, phone, and then Google Voice. Now I tell you the Google Voice icon just bugs the crap out of me because you see the little balloon thing you should be a descender and then the rest of the icon is kind of up too high. Do I have talk in here? Yeah, talk does the same thing it, if it's down on the uh, thing. Same thing for messaging icon. It, it just bugs me, but that's me. And that's almost everything I use. I'll hop into the app drawer when I need to. Um, I do have stuff on the next screen to the right, so I've got my favorite contacts. And I actually need to trim them up because Jerry's in there for some reason three times. And then I have the uh, standard power widget that I really use just to change the uh, display brightness pretty quickly. And that's about it. Not a whole lot else. So Google Voice I use for hopping around all these phones. Um, now, about the dock. So as you know in Sense 4, items that are in the dock are what show up in your lock screen shortcuts. I'm still not a big fan of that. I, I wish the HTC had done it differently. That was a design choice on their part. So that's why I have the camera in the dock. Otherwise, I would probably have the camera where Chrome is. But that's me, because I want to be able to get to that camera quickly from the lock screen, which is one of the nice things in Sense 4. Otherwise, really not a whole lot going on. Uh, let me see what else I have installed. Hopefully nothing I shouldn't have installed. Android Central app, you should all have that. Expensify, I use that because uh, I'm on the road a lot and have to expense a lot of stuff. Flight Aware, which is one of the travel apps, Flight Flight Track, I use. Uh, I use the Delta app, I use Foursquare to check in, and I use Google Plus. I'm actually giving Instagram another go, um, just because I think I, I need to give it more of a fair shake than I have. Google Maps is indispensable. News and Weather I actually use a lot. Um, play Music, obviously I use Google Music a lot. Seismic, so I use Seismic for Twitter, and actually the reason I really, really use it is they do a great job of letting you post to multiple things at one time. See, so I can post to my account, to the Android Central account, to any of our uh, Mobile Nation's Facebook pages, to my Facebook page. I can do it all at once, which is really, really nice. So it's good to see uh, Seismic getting a little more love lately. Uh, keyboard, so everybody asks what keyboard I use. I am currently using the SwiftKey 3 Beta, and if you haven't used it, it's really, really good. Great prediction, and probably my favorite thing is that you can just type and type and type and type and not even put spaces in words, and it will uh, figure that out for you. I use Slice to track uh, packages, so I know we did a post on that earlier. It's kind of, uh, what's it like? It's almost like it's almost like a travel app for, or it's almost like TripIt, actually, for uh, packages. And I know I've talked about TripIt, I don't know how many times, so this is how I keep track of all my trips and flights and hotels. Indispensable app. For a traveler um, and that's about it so I'm actually kind of a boring user I mean we test a whole bunch of stuff right but in my daily life I mean I, I don't use that much it's all about communication with Gmail 
and getting around with travel and social with, with all the social apps I use. So there you go guys, a quick look at what I'm rocking on my phone these days. See ya!